This is the C Brewer Science High Precision Spinner Model 100. This is a fully programmable and user friendly system. It has a spin range of from 0 to 6,000 RPM and an acceleration of from 0 to 30,000 RPM per second. Uh, it has programmable steps for 10 different programs. Each one of those programs can have 10 different steps. The stainless steel bowl design is capable of processing up to 200 millimeter round substrates and up to 6 inch square substrates. The system is powered by standard 120 volt line and also requires vacuum of 25 uh, inches of mercury. It is a single push button unit. The program is very easy to do. Uh, you can program by pushing program, putting in a program number, and then you can change whether you want it to dispense uh, or spin at different RPMs with different accelerations. To give an example, of how it works. First we'll take the chuck. Again, very important that the center screw of the chuck not be misplaced because it has a hole right through the center of it which provides the chuck with vacuum. So that has to be in place. There is an alignment pin on the spindle and it's simply one screw that holds it in place. Now it has a nice mechanical feature. I'll give an example. Here is a 200 millimeter 8 inch wafer. When putting it on, and you can't tell where it's exactly centered, the centering arm is excellent. It comes down and that will center your wafer. Now notice put that on there, I push over all the way like that, and then you simply lift it out of the way, over the top. Now, to demonstrate this, I'm going to use, I've written four programs. This particular one is program four, and this will simply spin the wafer up to 500, 1000, and 2000 RPM at the rate of 200 RPMs per second and for a duration of 20 seconds. Okay, here I'm going to run program 4. As explained, we enter. It has an initial start that centers the chuck. And we push go. First it will ramp up to 500 RPM. Then ramp up to 1000. Then ramp to 2000 RPM. Maintain that for a total of 20 seconds. Then decelerate over the 20 seconds back down to 0 RPM. Once complete, it will signal unload spin chuck. All right, next we're going to change the size of the substrate. 
This is a wonderful little tool. We can change it and we'll move it down to the next standard spot, which would be for a 125 millimeter or six inch wafer. Place the wafer on the chuck with the radiuses pointed towards the alignment tool. Lower the alignment tool. Press into place and remove and close the lid. For this particular test, we're going to run program one. This will ramp up to 2,000, then 4,000, then 6,000, then abruptly decelerate to zero. The rate will be 500 uh, RPM per second, and each specific speed will be held for 20 seconds. There's the centering. Now we're going to put a 6 inch wafer on the chuck. Once again use the centering tool. Lower the lid. And now we're going to use program 2. Program 2 will simply ramp all the way up to the maximum speed which is 6,000 RPM at the rate of 200 RPM per second, hold for 60 seconds, and then it will immediately decelerate back down to zero. First it does the centering, and now we will start. We've accelerated to 6,000 RPM in 30 seconds. It will now hold that speed for 30 seconds. And within two seconds, it decelerates all the way to zero. You can lift your wafer or your substrate off. To check the accuracy of the speed, we're going to use an industrial strobe light. Which will check the speed that the spindle is spinning and in turn we will compare that to the digital readout. For this part of the test we have our own chuck here that we use as a test piece with a timing mark on it. and we will be able to demonstrate the full range of the instrument.
Now for this particular test, we are going to use program three. This is a complicated program that I wrote uh, specifically to show you uh, how versatile the speed and acceleration parameters are. We're going to start at 1,000, progress up to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6,000 RPM. Then we're going to decelerate to half range to 3,000, then to 1,000, then quietly and slowly decelerate to zero. First, I will make sure that the strobe light is set on the correct range. Okay, on our timing chuck, we will close off the vacuum. Okay, we will now select program three. Do our initial centering spin. And now we will start. Here's 1,000. Here's 2,000 RPM. Here is 3,000 RPM. Four thousand. Thousand six thousand. Back down to three thousand. Back down to one thousand. And accelerating all the way back down. zero. This is a very versatile piece of equipment having many different options as far as spinning and uh, control. Uh, again, very user friendly very easy to use. Uh, it's very portable. It weighs about 45, 50 pounds, so it can be moved to different bench tops and um, is an excellent piece of equipment.